In the following video, we're going to apply our natural logs in base E to assist us with solving base E equations. What we have to remember is that natural logs and E are inverse operations. One is used to help us assist with solving the other. So if I have 4 times E to the negative 2x minus 5 equals 3. When solving 4x, what we have to do is we have to isolate the object that our variable is contained in. So we have to isolate this e to the negative 2x power. The way we do that is we get rid of any addition or subtraction that's occurring outside of that box first. So we're going to add 5 to both sides. That's going to give me 4 times e to the negative 2x power equals 8. And then I still need to isolate this e, this base e first. So I'm going to get rid of my coefficient. Do that by dividing both sides by 4. And that allows me to get e to the negative 2x by itself. And 8 divided by 4 is 2. And so right now, I know e to the negative 2x power equals 2. So how do I solve for our x? And that is where we apply our inverse operation. The inverse of base e is natural log. And so you take the natural log of both sides. I'm going to take the natural log of the left side, and I'm going to take the natural log of the right side. So I have natural log of e to the negative 2x, and I have natural log of 2. What that allows us to do is to bring our variable outside of the exponent. So really, I have negative 2x times the natural log of e equals the natural log of 2. Remember, our natural log of e is just 1. And so that allows us to cancel out our base e because they are inverse operations. And so really I'm left with negative 2x equals natural log of 2. So to solve for x, we divide both sides by negative 2. So natural log of 2 over negative 2 equals x. Now we're asked to round to three decimal places. So let's go to our calculator. We have natural log of 2. Make sure you close the parentheses and divide by negative 2. Hit enter. And we're going to get negative 0.347 when we round. x equals negative 0.347. So I have my actual value and my decimal approximation for this example. So let's look at another example. Go back up to the top. 3 times e to the 4x minus 12 equals 15. What are we going to do? We need to isolate this base e first by getting rid of any addition, subtraction, and then any coefficients. So I'm going to add 12 to both sides. And that allows me to cancel out this minus 12. And so really, I'm left with 3 times e to the 4x power equals 27. I still need to get this base e, this object, isolated. So I have to get rid of my coefficient of 3 by dividing both sides by 3. And so 27 divided by 3 is 9. So I'm really left with e to the 4x power equals 9. Now that that e, that base e, is isolated by itself, I can get rid of it by taking the natural log of both sides, the inverse operation of both sides. And so I'm going to take the inverse operation, the natural log of the left side, so natural log of e to the 4x, and that equals the natural log of 9. That allows me to take this 4x out of the exponent and make it the coefficient. So 4x times the natural log of e equals the natural log of 9. The natural log of e is 1, so we can just cancel that out. And we're left with the equation 4x equals the natural log of 9. 
divide both sides by 4, x equals the natural log of 9 divided by 4. That is the actual value. And what we're going to do is take this and plug it in our calculator to get the decimal approximation. So clear out what I have. I'm going to use the fraction shortcut, so alpha y equals, enter. And I want the natural log of 9 over 4. Hit enter. And I get the value 0.5493, which three decimal places means x is equivalent to 0.549. So I have my decimal approximation and my actual true value. And so here we looked at how to solve base E equations. And what you do is you isolate the base E, then take the natural log of both sides. That allows us to bring our variable outside of the exponent and down to the coefficient. And since base E and natural logs are inverses, they cancel each other out.